Okay, so right now it is Thursday, September the 16th, and I'm just going to do you guys a quick video on a few things that I got at a second-hand shop and also at a few yard sales here in the last one to two weeks, I probably about two weeks in total. Um, there's this old runner sleigh I picked up for $20. It has had repairs done to it. But I like the piece. It's nifty. It is quite big. It was an old, like, two-seater, I guess you'd want to call it, for two children. Give me a second here, and I'll flip it around and show you what the back side looks like. So this is what the back side looks like. Um, nothing real special. You can see the old runners are still all intact. They should have done the top seat boards more original because it would have had like four or five more slender boards up there. Not two wider ones. But I like it the way it is. But this is what it's... I got an annoying fly here. But it's in pretty good shape. My kids want to use it this winter for hauling things, so we'll let them try it out and see how well they can run her through the snow. Another thing that I purchased at one of the secondhand shops was this Rival Ice Cream and Yogurt Freezer. Um, there is a date on to it. For, it's from 1997. Um, I picked it up for $7.50. We have already tried it out. It works perfectly. No issues whatsoever. So that was a pretty good find. Oh yes. And it's a five quart ice cream maker. Picked up this country market welcome sign. I just thought it was kind of cute. The rooster is quite glittery. I really like signs, so I had to have that. Um, another thing I found was these little old, not old, but older kitchen scales. They do up to 11 pounds. They do work. Um, the rooster sign was, I think, $2.00. These here scales were three. An old cone sieve food mill. It's missing its pestle and its legs, but still you can use this. I have other pestles that I can use with it. Um, it is fairly large. It's an older one. It is, this one here I do believe is made of aluminum, unfortunately, but like I said, it's a pretty good size. It'll come in handy if I do need it. Give the ice cream maker a cap up there. Cute little co-hook. wasn't very much money. These ain't a real older set, but manual hand beaters, egg beaters. Um, those were two bucks at a yard sale. This here is a dinky little porcelain playing card box. What caught my eye was the little elf on the box. It was made in England. I don't know if it'll pick it up or not. No, not really. There is a stamp there that says England. And the cards that were came into it has a kangaroo on the front. 
Uh, get out of this. I got flash on. Nifty looking joker dude there. He was kind of interesting looking. This is just a mix array of different things. Picked up a couple of those. Those are always good to have on hand. Corkscrew. Get a few of those, but I like the wooden handle. Vintage potato masher. Decorative little sticker onto it that's starting to peel off. Then we get a flat masher. It's an older one. Thought it was kind of cool. I don't have one like that one, so I had to have that. Actually found a French fry scoop. Be good for making tacos. Scooping out the hamburger. Bacon press. Price tag on it's two bucks. I didn't pay two dollars for it. Some of this stuff I didn't pay full price for. I just put it all into a basket and get it for seven fifty. This just happened to be one of the items that I know was in one of the baskets. There's a pretty little piggy on it. It says bacon press. It's cast iron. It's not a real, real old one. It's not a newer one either. I have one of these already, but it does not hurt to have another one. This had a price tag of $3, but I had it in one of the baskets, so it was rounded up, so I did pretty good on that day. Um, it's an apple peeler, apple core. This thing works pretty good. Kids already tried it out with a couple apples. Even slices them into sprite rolls if they want. Nifty older gentleman's box, jewelry box. As a drawer. Two nifty little doors with three more drawers inside. There is another piece to this, but it grew legs and walked away here somewhere. I thought that was really cute. Picked up the kids one of these challenging games. They gotta get this here pendulum off. Um, they haven't figured it out yet. It's kind of challenging for them, so hopefully this keeps them entertained for a little while. Um, got one of these nifty little things for putting it by your kitchen sink or something or above your wood stove. Um, I like them above my kitchen sink to put my wet dish towels, dish towels, dish cloths onto. They all swing out. This is an older one. I can tell by the plastic that's onto it. It's getting quite brittle too, but I can always peel that off. Just broke a piece off. Um, never have too many of those little things of any size. I really like this find. This I had in my basket, so I didn't pay this price for them. But there is a lot 
of these really good cupboard hinges. They should have been like $3 a bag. These are really, really heavy. And I like them because when you close your door, they stay shut. That was a pretty good find. Also, there was... Can I get this open with one hand? These ones are kind of nifty looking. There's a few of them in the bag. And then there is one, two, three still in the bag and three there. So there's six of those in total, which would have been three dollars, but I had them in the basket. Now, I found these. I always wanted a pair. I like interesting looking things. I found myself a pair of wooden shoes. A pair of Dutch shoes. These are about a size seven and a half. But like I said, I only bought those because I always wanted a pair. They have a hole in them. So I'm going to tie a string through them. I'm going to hang them up on a wall. Just give me a second here, guys. Cute little tea kettle. Stainless steel. I can never ever pronounce this name. See if you guys can see it on there. No. There we go. But it's up in there. So it's a pretty good tea kettle. Don't really look like it was ever used by looking at the inside. Oh, don't you fall on the floor and bang there. Um picked up this cute little double picture frame with three little co hooks. just had to have this old dirt cookie jar. It's all these nice old it's all like embroidered type of thing. I don't know what you call it. They stick out. It says cookie time onto it. I guess the wording embroidered. I know I used the wrong word there. Embrossed. <coughs> Cute little cover too. I got another cookie jar. Or use it for any type of jar. This one is quite cute. Nice little burn seen onto it. It doesn't have a seal or anything around it. But this was made in Canada. 